Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's video, I want to show you how to create a DA92 backlink. Now, this backlink comes about because I shared a list with a subscriber that was on Facebook, and they were going through the list at my higher authority links that I had created and I was showing, and this particular link stood out because they said without any doubt it is a no follow so today I want to show you how to create a DA 92 do follow backlink that will have contextual relevance to your niche or topic but let's not waste any time let's get into it so first and foremost you will need some sort of an email so for this particular uh, walkthrough I will be using mail.com mail.com works very well because you can fill out the information and get numerous different emails without any verification and it is not seen as a temporary or throwaway mail so I highly recommend it so that's what we're going to be using today so let's just jump right in and today's link is gonna look like this all right I wanted to go ahead and add this in so I could show you uh, the creation that we have created and walked through so here is the final product you've seen the other one indexed already that I created but I wanted to show you what we have just done and walked through so as you can see here we have the resume which is here and then as you can see here everything is filled out so I just wanted to go ahead and show you this that it would be on when you go to the profile page if you filled out everything correctly like we walked through you'll see view resume and it brings you to this page here and this is what's going to index online all right thank you first and foremost make sure you have your email and then we're going to want to uh, create a team page we're going to want to create an account so we can get into this so it's going to be b e h a n c e dot net slash team all right and we're going to get right into it all right so once you click on behance.net forward slash team forward slash onboarding you will be presented with this screen where you will need to fill out your details so let's do that now all right so after you are done filling out your information you will be brought to this page you might want to cl collect and pick a few things uh, we want to make this profile uh, the beginning of the profile before we make the resume page that creates the backlink as believable as possible so let's go ahead and do that now <laughs> All right, so after we have picked the relevant boards, the custom feed that is most relevant to us, we will be brought to this particular page. And this is where the beginning of our very important link foundation is going to begin. Now, again, this will be do follow DA92 contextual, and uh, let's keep moving on. So you will want to go up here to the right hand corner and click on Behance profile. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move on to the next step, which is going to be editing your profile. Um, and I will go ahead and show you at the end that these links index and we know when we have an indexable link that it is valued by Google and when we have a valued link by Google we can pass power pass link juice through these links so this is a valuable link to have it's indexable it's do follow contextual and it's a citation let's keep moving forward so let's go ahead and go to edit our profile now in order for all of this to work we will need to fill out our work experience but we want to walk through and fill out everything as full as possible because remember there will be a indexation of this link so when someone stumbles across this link when searching your brand searching your business this page will rank so I want you to fill this out make sure it's there and we want to make sure that it's filled out so let's go ahead and do that now all right so down here in this section where it says about me make sure again start filling this out make sure everything's filled out correctly and let's keep moving forward 
Now we will want to add our work experience and this is very important, so make sure you fill this out. Again, I cannot emphasize this enough. Make sure everything is filled out. Fill out as many keywords, as many relative niche-related words, keywords. Anything that's topically relevant to your topic or niche, make sure it's in there. Any work history, anything. This is a indexing link. This will be something you could pass powers through and it will rank. People will see this if they're searching for your brand or service. So make sure again, this is filled out properly. So let's get into that now. Now you will want to inside of the custom section, add another URL. Make sure that this links out to your website. This is very crucial, very important. Just make sure you add other URL here when filling out your custom section for your work experience make sure you put other and put the outside link to your website now as you can see we have added when we can citations put your phone number any digital mention online is considered a citation so anytime you can put a citation you always want to so go ahead and add that add links wherever you can remember we're building a profile Re remember people will see this so make sure you fill this out fully as i mentioned before so let's keep going all right now before we go ahead and we finish our resume and we submit it i wanted to go ahead and make some changes um our full name i would want to make our business name because this is visible now along with this you want to make sure that when you're looking at your resume you want to make sure that everything is public not only for behance members not only for yourself but public to everyone for everyone we want this page to be crawled and we want this page to be indexed and again stick with me i'll show you an indexed version of what this looks like and uh let's just do that now so over here to your right hand side uh you will be able to go ahead and make this public and then i went ahead and i put the business name that i am making this for so this will be indexed so this will be seen so now after this is done and i have filled this all in i'll still fill the rest of this out but for time purposes i've just done the basics to show you where and what to fill out to get the maximum result as you can see here um the email address will be a clickable do follow part so that will take them take the potential customer potential prospect directly to your email to be able to email you very valuable very important now along with that when you have the other email inside of your contact or other URL inside of your contact information this is what is being shown so if you want to create more of these you can go ahead and feel free to do so uh, but that's going to be up to you now remember like in past videos when you're creating backlinks from one particular page to a website if you're linking out to a website then another page and then another page you can receive benefit from one linking domain to another if you're linking to multiple pages so I just want you to keep that in mind when you're creating your backlinks when you're creating this page but let's go ahead and review and view our resume so we can go ahead and see how this looks in motion so now we're gonna go ahead and go to view after we have changed it to public all right now as you can see here what we have created is a wonderful masterpiece we not only have our business name that we are promoting not only do we have our business name our address and our phone number our nap we have made a citation and then we have our phone number here and our address again along with our email that is a do follow and a backlink to the website that we're promoting so we have created a citation we have created and you could have filled this out and I've put another citation here but you could have filled out more information here and made it more contextual more relevant this could have been a very vast page filled with keywords and data and massive amounts of relevancy but we've decided to just create this for 
time purposes to show you and to showcase the walkthrough. Now, after you are done and everything is created, now what we want to do is we want a custom URL. And in the URL, my opinion would be you could either put your business name and address and phone number again, or you could just put your business name. And how that done is just like this. So you will want to go to... <clears throat> so you will want to go over here to your right hand side claim your profile url and this is where we want to add our either our business name or we can go ahead and use our complete nap but for this example we're just going to use the business name all right so now we have created our do follow backlink, our citation. We have a custom URL. Um, I want to go ahead and show you now that this link is indexable. I did a test page before I created this. I want to go ahead and show you that so I can show you that it's indexable and show you exactly what it will look like to show you that it will end up in the SERP. So if we were to if we were to search my name. And on the first page, this will show you how relatively powerful this link could be. All right, here it is. So as you can see, it is indexable right here on the first page here. Here it is. We'll right click. We'll go ahead and open it up so I could show it to you. And here we go. This is what your link will look like. And I'm just showing you on another account. You'll view full resume. And if we go up here, we have a DA92. No follows are purple. Do follows are green. So as you can see from my side, I've created this. I was not as elaborate as I am with my. And to index this link, you can send either GSA links or money robot links. You can put it through as a GMB post. Just get some links flowing to this and you will index this relatively quick. As you can see, again, just to wrap up, you will want to go to behance.net forward slash team forward slash onboarding. Make sure you have an email. All right. Um, verify because you will need to verify at some point. So you might want to get that out of the way. But as you can see, we've created a do follow DA92. We have a citation. We have a custom URL that will show up in the SERP that's indexable that will have our business name. And along with that, it's a clickable button going directly to our email. All of the information is there. It's contextual. I hope that this tutorial on how to create this backlink has truly helped you if you have any questions regarding backlinks if you have questions about off-page seo link building local seo seo digital marketing facebook ads really anything internet marketing related please leave it in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you in the next seo link building backlink video have a wonderful day